A shooting at a community center in Raleigh and a nearby car crash kept police busy until 2.30 this morning. Nick Perlin is in the WRL Breaking News Tracker at the Raleigh Police Department. And Nick, police say behind the wheel of the car that crashed was the suspected shooter. Renee, that's correct, but the thing that Raleigh police are, that are still trying to put together is what exactly led to this shooting. Uh, like, we do know that this did happen around last night, but uh, there's still not a lot of clarity as a... a, a about what led to this shooting. I do want to tell you, though, what we do know right now is Raleigh police responded to that shooting at around 9.30 last night at the Sanderford Community Center. We know one person was taken to the hospital, and I now I do want to show you this video. This is from that crash. Uh, this Jeep Wrangler, you can see, is badly damaged, and that belonged to the suspected shooter. At least that's what police are saying right now. They're saying this person ran from the scene and led police on a short chase, ending in that crash near Evers Drive, which is about a half mile from the shooting. We're still trying to learn right now the um, the names of the victim and the suspect in this case. Uh, and of course, we're still trying to find out what exactly led to the shooting. Uh, once I have more information, I'll be sure to update you. Live in downtown Raleigh, Nick Perlin, WRL News.